Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. I'm doing an emergency podcast because there's some breaking news. Two baseball breaking news items. Before we get to the bigger story, um, Juan Soto of the Washington Nationals tested positive for coronavirus, so he will not be playing against the New York Yankees this weekend, and that is a huge blow to the Nationals. And if he's out for even 10 games, they are in major, major trouble because that offense is expecting a lot of guys to break out this season, such as Trey Turner and Carter Keboom, and they obviously lost Anthony Rendon. So there's a lot of pressure on that pitching staff and the bullpen especially to keep those games low scoring to give um, the offense and some of these breakout guys that they're banking on to uh, produce and maybe he's asymptomatic and uh, he won't be out for long so Jeff Passan tweeted this out about I want to say two hours ago Washington Nationals star Juan Soto tested positive for COVID and will miss tonight's season opener against the New York Yankees and there's no word on whether he is asymptomatic or not. If he is, that's good. If he's not, I hope he gets well soon. And Juan Soto wasn't even on the roster for the opening day, so they must have known. And then... It's going to be interesting to see how long he's out for. So hope he gets well soon and back on the field. And plus, that was my National League MVP prediction. So now to the other big story of the day is that the league and the union has approved the 2020 expanded postseason and the owners are okay with it, so they're going to have an expanded postseason. And that is the reason why I'm doing this emergency podcast, because I now have to revamp my playoff predictions. So it's not that hard. You just have to put the three teams that are next in the wild card into the postseason in each league, And then I'm going to predict how the playoffs are going to pan out. And we'll see if there's a different um, LCS than I initially predicted. And and, uh, yet again, it's just for one season that they're doing this because they need the money. So it's understandable why they're doing this. But if they do this next year, then it's not... um, my favorite thing. So I just think that it's going to be this season. It's go back to the normal five next year. So um, if it was a regular season, I said Yankees win the AL East, the Indians in the Central, the A's in the West. So the one seed is still the Yankees, 40 and 20. I have the Athletics as the two seed, 37 and 23. The Indians as your three seed, 36 and 24. The Rays as the wild card, 38 and 22. The second wild card, the Chicago White Sox at 34 and 26. Then the third team in there is the Houston Astros at 33 and 27. So that's six. And then next up is the Minnesota Twins at 31 and 29. And my last playoff team is the Texas Rangers at 29 and 31. So you're going to have a sub 500 team in the postseason. So no Boston Red Sox in the playoffs even with the expanded playoffs. So the surprise team in the postseason here with the expanded playoffs would be the Texas Rangers. And real quick, I want to see if um, they're just going to do seeding by the records. They're just going to do division, 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 and then the wild cards like how hockey used to do. So Bob Nightingale, who is not my favorite reporter, as you know, um, said that best of three first-round playoffs instead of sudden-death wild cards. 
So that's going to be interesting. Um, so, yeah, the new format will feature a best of three series in the first round instead of a sudden death wild card game. The top two teams in each division will qualify for the postseason with the two other best teams in each league filling out the 16-team pool. So there you go. So Yankees Rays, Indians White Sox, Oakland Houston, and then the two wild cards per se are the Rangers and, and the Twins. There you go. So um, that would have been my eight anyway. So um, does it say anything um, with how they're going to see it? Let's see. Um the winners of the first round will advance to the best of five division series and traditional best of seven league champion series and world series. Um, let's see. Um, so I guess it's going to be the top two in every division and then those two wild cards. So um, I wonder if... Um, They'll do the division teams with the first three seeds. Um, hmm, it doesn't say whether um, uh, the uh, it will be division winner, division winner, division winner, or or what it's actually going to be. Um, but if it was straight 1 through 8, it'd be Yankees, Rays, Athletics, Indians, White Sox, Astros, Twins, Rangers. So we really don't know what the order is going to be with um, this postseason. According to ESPN's Buster Olney, they're going to let the division winners pick their opponents. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. So, I don't know if that's true or not, but um, you never know with this kind of stuff. So, let's just say the Yankees play the Rangers, and then your two seeds, the Athletics, so the the division winners get the top three seeds, so it's like the old NHL format. So then the Athletics would play the Twins, so there you go. Um, the Indians would play the Astros. That's a great series. And then the what would have been wild card, White Sox and the Rays. So in the best of three in that format. Yankees, Rangers, I'd say Yankees in two. Garrett Cole and... James Paxton, outpitch Lance Lynn and Corey Kluber or Mike Miner. So Yankees should advance past the Texas Rangers. And I don't think that the Rangers lineup is as good as the Yankees. So Yankee lineup, the difference in that series and the Yankee bullpen. So Yankees in two. And then you got the athletics against the twins. That series, I'm going to say Oakland in three. Let's say Minnesota grabs a game. Maybe they win game one with Jose Barrios, and then uh, Oakland wraps it up in three to advance to the next round. And then you have the Astros and the Indians. Let's go with the little upset. Indians in three, or not really an upset, but um, on maybe Vegas would have favored the Astros in this scenario, but um, that's why it would be somewhat considered an upset because I think Vegas would favor the sixth seed here. But um, let's go with the Indians in three. Astros steal a game to make it interesting. And then the 4-5, the Rays and the White Sox will go with Tampa Bay in two. Um, they just have the better pitchers going in their respective matchups. Maybe it'll be uh, Blake Snell and Tyler Glass now against um, Giolito and then Keuchel. So let's go Raisin two. And then the ALDS is what I initially had the ALDS. Um, so we're going to keep those predictions. Yankees in four and the 
Athletics in five, and then the Yankees in six, and then the Yankees advance in the uh, American League. So I still have the Yankees winning the pennant. And now the National League. So your one seed, I'd have the Los Angeles Dodgers, 39 and 21. The two seed, Cincinnati Reds, 38 and 22. Three seed, Washington Nationals, 37 and 23. Four seed, Atlanta Braves, 36 and 24. Uh, the five seed, the New York Mets, 35 and 25. The six seed, the St. Louis Cardinals, 34 and 26. The seven seed, the Arizona Diamondbacks, 34 and 26. And their last team in the postseason, I have the Chicago Cubs at 32 and 28. So the Chicago Cubs are your eight seed in the postseason. So both Chicago teams with expanded playoffs will be in. So Fox would really, really like a Cubs Dodgers best of three. Um, first round matchup that is going to be fun for Fox Joe Buck and company will love that but it's not going to be pretty Cubs will get swept into by the Dodgers led by Clayton Kershaw and Walker Buehler and then the Cubs are going to have to face some serious questions in the offseason about their stars then the 2-7 in this format would be the Reds against I have the Diamondbacks 7th, so let's go Reds in 3. I think the Diamondbacks steal a game. Madison Bumgarner on the bump, they'll steal one. Zach Gallen against, let's say, Sonny Gray. Gray and the Reds get it done. And then uh, Robbie Ray against Trevor Bauer. And then uh, Bauer and the Reds will win in 3, so they'll move on. And then the next series would be, in theory, the Nationals against the Cardinals, so that should be fun. Let's go Nationals in three. Let's say Jack Flaherty steals a game for St. Louis. He pitches in game one or game two, so Cardinals would steal a game. And then you got Scherzer, you got Strasburg, and you got Corbin. So Nationals in three over the Cardinals. And then and what would have been the wild card game, the 4-5, the Braves against the Mets. Instead of um, the Mets winning the game. So now this is where I'm going to make a change. I'm picking the Braves to advance over the Mets. Jacob deGrom is only pitching in one game. Sorry. So got to advance the Braves now in three. The Mets will win the Jacob deGrom game. And then the Braves will take the next two. So now with my ch the change I'll make is the Atlanta Braves. I have in the division round now facing on the Dodgers, and then I have the Reds and the Nationals, which I have Reds in five as that prediction. That won't change. And then the Braves and the Dodgers, instead of uh, the Dodgers against the Mets, will be the Braves, as I said. I'm going to keep the prediction of Dodgers in four. Maybe the Braves will steal a game with Mike Soroka on the bump or something. So let's say the Dodgers in four over Atlanta. And then the Dodgers against the Reds again. And then I had the Dodgers in six over the Reds. And then the World Series, Yankees-Dodgers, keeping the Yankees in six prediction with Garrett Cole being your World Series MVP. So that's it for the emergency podcast. I had to change up my playoff predictions with this expanded postseason. I'll be back tomorrow with the results of the two baseball games being played tonight. And look ahead to tomorrow's busy slate. And obviously NASCAR, golf, and soccer for you as well. Hope you guys have a good night, everyone.